Hi, my dear Rostov family. Today I wanted to make a video about Uranus moving into the sign of Gemini. You might be wondering why I'm doing this video so early. And one of the reasons why I've decided to do this because I do not think that we can look at Pluto in the sign of Aquarius without looking at Uranus in the sign of Gemini. Why is that? Because we will have a trine between Uranus and Pluto in the sign of Aquarius. Uranus would be the modern ruler of Aquarius. But on top of that, we will have also Neptune sextile both of them. So this is going to be a very interesting shift in the world. So basically, let me just tell you what's going to happen here. 2025 in the summer, we're going to have Uranus on one degree of Gemini, Pluto on one degree of Aquarius, and Neptune on one degree of Aries, alongside with Saturn. And this is going to be going on for three years. So it's going to be repeating a couple of other times as well. So most likely we will see major shifts in the world. That's why I decided to make this video way in advance. And actually I am going to be making the Saturn Neptune conjunction video as well in January, because I want everyone to be prepared for this period of time way in advance, not just like in the last very seconds, because that might not be enough for us. Um, if you would like to hear more about me, please subscribe to my channel, like the videos. And also I have a membership program running on YouTube. So you can get two webinars a month. Um, you will get weekly videos where I will be breaking down for you what the week actually, what the week's energies are for you. So if this is something you're interested in, then you might want to check this out. But without any further ado, let's get into this Uranus in Gemini. Probably I'm just going to be giving you key points here, and then I will be making a video a lot more in depth, probably around at the end of the year. So Uranus is the very first planet beyond the regular limit of visibility. So therefore, I tend to be looking at Uranus as a transcendent planet, which is going to be more impact on the world rather than on an individual level. Uranus tends to be spending approximately about seven years in one sign. So currently it is still in the sign of Taurus, but it will be leaving. So I'm going to give you some dates, for example, when it's going to be happening, and I'm going to give you the past dates as well. So for example, we had Uranus from 1941, August 7th, till October 4th, 1941. And then it shifted back into the sign of Taurus. And then finally it left uh, Taurus in 1942, May 15th. And then it remained in the sign of Gemini until 1948, but then shifted back again a little bit into the sign of uh, Gemini until 1949, June 10th. So basically Uranus spent approximately about seven years between 1941 summer till 1949 summer in the sign of Gemini. Now the upcoming one is going to be from July 7th, 2025 until November 7th, 2025. And then from April 25th, 2026 to August 3rd, 2032. And then it's going to be shifting into the sign of Cancer, and then it's coming back again into the sign of Gemini from 12th of December 2032 to May 22nd, 2033. So we will see Uranus being in the sign of Gemini basically from 2025 till 2033, which is a good seven year period. Also, of course, if I deduct uh, the times when it's going to be spending a bit more time in Taurus and a bit more time in Cancer as well. Now, why is it so important? I mean, first of all, I would like to mention that if you recall what was going on while the nodes were in the sign of Gemini and Sagittarius, Well, we know that it was 2019, 2020. 
And that was quite a chaotic period. That was the time when, unfortunately, we had COVID and uh, the border control came around. People could not travel. Airlines had to shut their doors, basically. Then, obviously, you could travel if you had vaccination and so forth. So I don't think I need to describe that for you. And of course, this is going to get, again, somehow re-energized, re-electrified by Uranus. So I would expect one thing, the tourism and the travel is going to be revolutionized completely. Maybe it is going to be bringing us some type of border controls because Gemini is actually talking about neighborhood countries. And then if I go back down to the history lane, obviously when the second world war ended, the borders of the countries have the borders of the countries changed significantly. But even if I'm just thinking about Germany, which got divided into four parts, so it happened within a country as well, not just with the neighborhood countries overall. But this also can indicate that the passport system is going to be changing significantly. Maybe some countries will be opening up their borders for others. And I'm thinking about the digital uh, visa, for example, or the, the digital nomad life type of things. And maybe some countries actually will close their doors, such as they might not allow the digital nomad life anymore in a way. So obviously, when we are looking at a new planetary energy moving into a new sign, and Uranus being the planet of chaos to start with, there is a process with Uranus. First of all, it tries to break down things. And then it tries to break them up into little pieces, shatters them like a glass of like glass. And then it comes up with a beautiful plan to make somehow a future a better place. So when I look at the last cycle, 1930, uh, sorry, 1941, 1948-49, you know what? Yes, we had the border changes as soon as the war ended in 1945. Uh, countries got divided into parts. So I'm just thinking that the other thing which came to my mind straight away while talking about this, that uh, when we had the Saturn Uranus square, then pretty much the Brexit got finalized. Not shortly, I mean, shortly after, right? As soon as that Aquarius point got triggered in the chart by Saturn, Jupiter as well, and so forth. And then straight away, we had this uh, ongoing square going on between Saturn and Uranus. So shall we expect that other countries will be leaving the EU as well? And um, I have been saying this for a while, actually, that I do believe that there is a, a, a couple or a few countries on the list that are either going to get chucked out of the EU or they will put their hand up and then they walk out completely. But I also look back what was going on in the very previous cycle before the Second World War. And uh, Uranus transited Gemini around that time, I mean, 1858 to 1866. You know what? We had the first aerial photograph. Now, if you just think about the Gemini is an air sign, then of course the aerial is something brilliant. And uh, that is also connected to Uranus as well, which is a technological advancement. Also, we had uh, the first gas engine. We had the first recording of uh, human voices. We had uh, the eraser discovered at the end of the pencil, which is, of course, widely used nowadays, for example, at schools by students. We had the invention of escalator. We had the postcards. By the way, the post office came in sometimes in the uh, 16th, 17th century. And that also happened while Uranus was in the sign of Gemini anyway. So when we look at the 1941-49 period, uh, we had the first test flights 
of the military jet aircrafts, uh, but we had the disposable aerosol cans invented as well. Then we had the very first camera coming around, the Polaroid. So that is also very interesting. Of course, it was a faster, faster version. I mean, the instant version got um, actually um, discovered, which is giving you the image immediately rather than having to you know, play around with it. And of course, Gemini is all about speeding things up a little bit and Uranus is definitely electrifying things. So it even makes it faster as much as possible. But also microwave was invented. Now, if you just think about that, Gemini is something to do with everyday use objects, something to do with the everyday life, um, objects that is making our everyday life easier in a way. And also the hand dryer was invented as well. And Gemini is an air sign. So we use the air to dry our hands. Hands are also ruled by Gemini too. So it's very, very, very beautiful. And all I want to say is that the stuff that is going to get discovered in the next uh, nine years, it's going to be mind blowing. You probably cannot even imagine what is gonna come up. But when Uranus goes into the sign of Gemini, the nodes will be immutable signs and um, particularly in Virgo and Pisces, which is the immune system. So one of the things I might be expecting uh, around issues or issues around distribution of food, or unfortunately, again, something to do with an airborne or waterborne illness. Airborne is coming from Gemini. The waterborne illness is actually coming from Pisces. Of course, uh, when we look at the Virgo and the Pisces axis, which is about hospitalization, maybe these technological advancements are uh, colorated to medical fields significantly. And I tend to believe that uh, they are going to be able to cure cancer, certain type of cancer. Um, actually, I'm aware that currently there are test trials running with a certain type of pills they discovered and it looks very promising and they want to introduce them in a couple of years time, exactly around the time when Uranus moves into the sign of Gemini. So we're gonna have new inventions. I think the phone industry is going to be blooming significantly. Maybe Apple is finally going to come out with something miraculous because it hasn't for, what, five years, I, I believe. Yeah, of course, we have spoken about electric cars, right? We've spoken about flying objects, uh, Gemini rules, public transportation. So most likely we should be seeing a lot faster public transportations as well. But I can also imagine such things as new languages are going to get registered Words are going to be disappearing from the dictionary or going to be replaced by something else. You know, I saw a comedy show the other day and I had to be cracking up and I wouldn't be able to translate it into English, unfortunately, uh, because it was in Hungarian, but um, it was basically connected to the smileys and these LOL and all this type of stuff. So basically someone asked, um, how was your day? What did you do today? And the reply was, um, it was great, LOL. And um, the interviewer asked, what is LOL? And anyway, it was hilarious. And the way how we obviously use the language now is completely different than it was 10 years ago. Right, so a new language to be registered. Uh, I can imagine that there is going to be uh, talking cars. Now, you know, I am always wondering, Knight Rider, for example, what well, that was, what, 40 years ago? And then Terminator, what well, that was about 30 years ago? I cannot remember the exact dates, but it doesn't matter anyway. But I'm always wondering, 
whether those were the imaginations of someone or someone had already known that this is exactly where the world is heading towards to. I'm always wondering whether that car existed around that time already, but they thought that humanity wasn't ready for such a car just yet. Anyway, this is, you know, it's just something I like thinking about, you know, but I find it interesting. It looks to me that those films are coming to life in a way. So talking cars, <clears throat> self-driving cars are going to be more popularized, or I can imagine that the cars are going to be banned completely and they are going to be replaced by public transport. Why would they do that? Most likely because of environmental reasons. Let's say we want to be somehow cutting back on the carbon monoxide released to the air and so forth, because obviously the nodes are going to be in Virgo and Pisces, which is something to do with prevention of uh, medical, potential medical issues. What we need to understand about Uranus is that wherever it goes into, at first it comes with a bit of a chaos, but it wants to make the future a better place as well. Um, surely I would say that Uranus in Gemini, which is a twin energy, so there is duality to it. There is the bad side and the good side to it as well. And uh, we will see most likely that people are gonna get divided significantly because some only will see the bad side and some will see the very good side of it. So this could talk to us about with the updated version of certain type of traditions as well. Why the traditions? The reason why, because from Gemini, we're going to go into cancer eventually. And those are the traditions. So we will see futuristic trends of what to expect when once Uranus goes into the sign of uh, cancer, already in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is about communication channels, any sort of communication channels, such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia, all this type of stuff ruled by Gemini. I would say that uh, we're going to be looking at some of these communicational channels as outdated because something new is going to pop up instead. So one of them might be disappearing completely and it's going to get replaced with something else. Or possibly uh, we're just going to be seeing um, that people are kind of like deleting their account because they are fed up somehow by, for example, your data um, stolen on those applications. And I'm going to talk about that as well very shortly. Also, Gemini is about learning platforms. So if you think about that COVID, for example, brought Zoom ahead. I mean, Zoom existed before as well, but all of a sudden, once COVID came around, Zoom had to upgrade their system because they could not keep up with all the demand what they had. So I can imagine, and of course, we use Zoom for educational purposes as well. So most likely, Either the education system is going to be turned upside down or the education system somehow will disappear and will get replaced with something new. I can imagine that people or students are going to be only studying online. Obviously, there might be some cost, uh, cost cutting reasons to that also. But, you know, this is something I was speaking to about with one of my clients who has got an autistic child. Um, and, um, and we had to agree on the fact that every single, you know, what happens is you go to school and you get graded. And of course, you are measured against, you know, a certain type of data. We are living in a data-driven world. And I understand that we have to be measured against something. What I do not understand is that sometimes, you know, not every single kid is equal. 
meaning that you might learn something a lot faster, but it takes more time for me. For example, learning mathematics. But maybe I'm a lot better at languages than you are. So we need to find a way how to balance this out because every, and, and I understand this is very difficult because we cannot find one system that is going to fit everyone. But I think currently the education system is really inflexible. Therefore, we need a major update how we teach our kids nowadays. So I tend to believe that the education system will change significantly. I would call it as the rebirth of education. Gemini also rules over internet as well. So the internet we use today, most likely it's just going to be an old school something in about eight, nine years time. It will be very interesting. Probably the speed of internet is going to be a lot better or it's again going to get replaced with something else as well i mean i'm on one hand i'm extremely excited about the uranus in gemini era on the other hand i'm extremely extremely scared of it as well yes we all need to utilize technology yes this is part of our life but what I'm kind of sensing that technology is going to take over our, our own life. I can imagine that everything is going to be face or speech recognition system. I can imagine that the cars are going to be driving themselves to kind of minimize the number of accidents, which is also, again, something to do with the Virgo Pisces axis anyway. I can imagine that new car companies are going to be popping up. I can even imagine, of course, we are entering a digital world. So the currencies will be changing. Most likely some currencies will disappear, get replaced by something else, or maybe we're gonna have that one world currency, which everyone has been talking about for a while. You know, I'm, the reason why I think computer is going to be a major topic because if we look at the first computers, when they were in built or invented, well, it was between 1942 to 1949. The first algorithms were computed by the English. And the reason why they did that, because they wanted to crack encrypted communications between the Nazis. Uh, in 1858, to 1866, while Uranus was in the sign of Gemini, they actually did the first transatlantic communication cables. They were laid down. So therefore, US and Europe, the very first time they had the chance to communicate with each other. And of course, what is um, Gemini? Cables. What is the other meaning of Gemini? Communication. One of the scary things I tend to believe that every single word that is going to leave your mouth over the phone or whatever you do on the computer, unfortunately, is going to get recorded somewhere. Some of the films or movies that come to my mind is, for example, um, Charmed, The Charmed. If you remember, I think it was season eight when there were these utopia guys, I can't remember how they were called, but they came around and, you know, they just wanted to make a better world. But their imagination about the better world was that whoever is actually breaking the rules is going to be immediately killed. And that's what the charmed ones realized. And then they decided, you know what? They were not ready to do that. So, so, and then if you recall the story, they were standing in a room and there were this kind of big table and they were able to flip between screens and people were monitoring those screens and they could see if someone was breaking the rule or they actually smiled or not. So, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because 
Uranus in Gemini, Pluto in Aquarius pointing towards Neptune. We've got this mini grand trine going on between those three, basically. Neptune is utopia. But we're going to have Saturn there as well. And that's the planet of reality. So anyway, as I said, I will be making a video about uh, Saturn and Neptune conjunction because that's definitely exciting also. And uh, the other thing I was thinking about is that US was born actually with Uranus in Gemini. So the other thing I was thinking about is that obviously China is already doing this monitoring people's expenditure and so forth. Is it going to be US the next one who is gonna do that? And then of course it's gonna start spreading. You know, it's just something, um, a thought to play around. Talking about thoughts, I tend to believe that there will be computers that are going to be able to read your thoughts or maybe your phone is going to be able to read your thoughts somehow. And I know it sounds stupid. Or these computers will be able to write algorithms themselves. It might sound stupid, but I have a friend of mine working for a big technological company and they said to me that it's already in the process and it's going to be ready. Computers will be able to write programs. It's very, very, very scary, I would say. But then I started thinking that these planets are in harmonious aspects to each other. So that's also very interesting, right? By the way, as I said, it starts in 2025. Uh, they will be on the same degree until 2027. But they remain within orb till about 2029. So most likely until 2027, we should see these big changes. Um, I also was thinking that Neptune is something to do with virtuality and Saturn is reality. So virtual reality. I can imagine that you're going to have this headphone on your head and then somehow you get projected out to, you know, another person and you're going to be able to have conversations that way rather than having a camera on your phone, for example, and having to look at the camera. It's kind of like you appear on the wall for them. It is surely about new experiences, new reality, changes in the way how you look at reality. I think reality is going to be very different from what it is now. But let's see, because Saturn is there, with Neptune around that time, and Saturn is the government. So let's see what the government wants to do with it. Let's see how we are going to be trying to restrict it as humanity. The reason why, because Saturn in uh, Aries, conjuncting Neptune, it could feel like that you are losing yourself. You're losing your individuality. So that's the reason why I said most likely it's going to stir the pot very significantly. But I will be making another video about that shortly, because then this would be a very long uh, lecture. Now, Uranus is also about spirituality. Neptune is spirituality as well. Altogether, the three planets are about the collective energies. So this should be the rise of spirituality. What I'm thinking is that either psychology or astrology or anything to do with mental health become a subject at schools or the online platform or just the way how students are studying is going to be significantly changing. <clears throat> I was speaking to a really good friend of mine the other day and I asked about her children how are they doing with school? They just started school a um, few months ago. And she said to me, oh, they do pretty well. They do between 90 to 200%. And I was like, what do you mean by 90 to 200%? Or oh, they are not getting grades anymore. They get percentages. 
I was like, oh, okay, very interesting. So the rise of spirituality, I could imagine, and I've been saying this for a while as well, that astrology might be changing very significantly. Of course, we are thinking about AI significantly, so it's going to be something AI-based because it's just popping up right before Uranus would be moving into the sign of Gemini. So it's going to be something AI-based, surely. <clears throat> I would also say that the technological advancements when it comes to medical fields are going to be blooming. So it's not just about hands up, but probably the ability to slow down aging is going to be very significant or anything to do with people's vanity. I think I can imagine new ways of uh, texting, <clears throat> for example, if this is going to be, you know, the phones we're gonna be using, new ways of texting and messaging I can imagine that the post office is going to completely disappear and it's going to be replaced by something else. I can imagine that um, contractual agreements are going to be happening completely differently as well. Also, it could be Gemini transactions. So the contracts came also from the fact that Gemini rules contracts. Gemini also rules transactions, business transactions, the way we purchase things. Of course, online delivery is something that has been blooming for a while, right? And anything to do with online purchases, we tend to be doing quite a lot. And the cash has started disappearing in a way because it is getting replaced by bank cards, slowly but surely. There are still countries out there, of course, where they prefer cash. But let's be frank, in the more advanced countries, there is more transactions done by cards rather than by cash. But I would say that somehow the way how we complete transactions are going to be completely changing. So maybe there is not going to be this pay pass or contactless or whatever it's called. It's going to be somehow something else. Maybe, you know, as stupid as it sounds, but you're going to have the ability to put a chip somewhere in your phone or somewhere even in your skin. Hopefully not. And then you just tap your finger there. Or maybe it's going to be happening by just fingerprint or or no need for bank cards. Maybe it's going to be your eye retina that they are going to be using for it. Uh, the eyes came to my mind because Uranus was the third eye. Um, new delivery systems. But I looked up, you know, I mean, uh, Uber, for example, started in 2009 and then it started pretty much blooming around 2012-ish. So what I was wondering as well, that Uber started in 2009, just right after Pluto went into the sign of Capricorn. Now Pluto is leaving Capricorn, and then straight away it's going to be making a trine to Uranus once Uranus moves into the sign of Gemini. So is Uber and these type of companies are going to be replaced by something else? You know, I would love to see one day, or I don't know if I want to see that, but is teleportation going to be possible, you know? <laughs> of course, the transportation part. So fast train services, a lot faster planes, for example, or the shipping methods are going to be changing. Now, I do not think that this is going to be a very fast process, though. One of the reasons is because of that Saturn Neptune. Neptune tends to cool things down and Saturn puts restriction on certain type of things. So I don't think it's going to be that fast. Even though Uranus and Gemini is very much connected to speed, but we're gonna run into some type of blockages and maybe it's going to be us. I tend to explain you, uh, Neptune with kind of like, imagine that you throw a bucket of water of something, something hot 
obviously here this is a really hot sign and you just pour a bucket of water on it obviously it's going to be an awakening moment and yeah so it slows things down because you're going to have to shake off the water or you're not going to be able to see for a couple of se uh, seconds the other thing which came to my mind is levi levitation you know maybe there is going to be some levitating devices that is going to be taking uh, you from uh, point A to point B. Kind of like what came to my mind, again, just something funny with um, Neptune is Aladdin with the magic carpet rides type of stuff. And I know it sounds funny, but this is how I imagine these three planets meeting point because... Neptune is about magic, and both of the planets are pointing at that. I also believe that mental health will become a very significant topic during this period, just because we're going to have a very heavy emphasis on the mutable signs. Um, therefore, when we're talking about mentality, mental health, then I imagine brain programming, brainwashing, uh, neuro neurological discoveries how the body parts are communicating to each other someone told me again it was a medical researcher that they are working on something to do with uh, replacing some of the cells that are connected to diabetes so they are working on reprogramming some of the cells and that is also something they plan to introduce in a couple of years time and then they can cure diabetes very quickly with that. So it's the kind of like the DNA modification matters that are going to be very significant during this period. News, that's also Gemini, right? So how the news are getting delivered is going to be changing or completely disappearing. I think actually the news industry is suffering quite a lot nowadays. I mean, I mean, talking about newspapers and so forth, because those are, let's say, have been replaced somehow by the internet as well as, you know, Facebook and so forth. But the, yes, the news, how they are going to be delivered, is changing significantly. I mean, this could um, change, for example, the digital marketing world. I feel like overall there is going to be more experience given to people when, let's say, they visit a website. So let's suppose that you are going on my website and then there is going to be kind of like a more of an interactive meta on the websites but as i said what i'm really afraid of is that information is going to get digitalized information about you is going to be tracked everything is going to be data-based gemini rules data and for me it sounds scary they're gonna know what time i go to the toilet they're gonna know how much i poo and where is the data protection then? And the data protection, in a way, comes from the fact that Saturn will be on the sign in the sign of Aries with Neptune. So the loss of identity comes up with there. And I'm just wondering if it's going to be very difficult to find. Of course. Uranus, which represents freedom. Gemini is about speech. So I'm wondering if censorship is somehow coming back and it's going to become more visible. Such as what you can write about, is it going to get monitored? What can you write in a newspaper? What type of interviews can you give yeah, gender movements. I have been talking about this for a while, but I am sure that a new gender is going to get registered. 
I what I believe how the languages are going to be changing that some of they they gonna gender neutralize the languages a little bit more. So there is not gonna be she, he, and it anymore. I think it's gonna start disappearing from the language, actually. So that's what I meant by a new language being introduced. I cannot imagine the world anymore without computers, can you? So I don't think they're gonna disappear. But I do not want computers to take over my life either. That's the, that's the biggest fear for me out of this next decade, pretty much. Gemini is about reading as well. So, you know, what's gonna be the percentage of literacy in the world? I'm going to be very curious to see in 10 years time. Are there going to be libraries, for example? Libraries are ruled by um, Virgo. And of course, we have got the notes in the sign of Virgo and Pisces. Are there going to be any bookstores? Most likely not. Gemini rules anything to do with towns. The other idea I had was that the gap between two bigger cities or towns are going to get some somehow narrowed so the towns are gonna kind of come together therefore there are going to be less and less villages obviously that comes from the fact that we are overpopulated or more and more towns are going to be disappearing and become one big city we are talking about gemini which is pretty much talking about the borders so the borders are somehow disappearing here. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Uranus also talks to you about friends. So does Gemini, by the way. So it will be interesting to see how people are going to be making connections. Surely making connections are going to become a lot easier. But I'm not also not happy about this. Because what I'm seeing at the moment is that how people are making connections. They go online, you know, they flip or swipe the screen and I like this one, I don't like that one, and so forth. So somehow it ruins the intimacy part of getting to know someone. And that's a little bit of a danger of that. And I do believe that because we've got the possibility to swipe on our phone and make friends or find sex partners and so forth, people are spending more and more time at home. And that's also not necessarily good, in my opinion. Anyway, you know, and then I was thinking about the Terminator while I was making these notes for myself that there were the wars of the machines. So is there something we should expect as well? That at one point the machines are somehow going to become rebellious and they come to life in a way? You know, again, I'm just throwing out some food for thoughts there. You know, some of you most likely look at me as Victor has gone nuts and feel free to do that. Um, but I'm just wondering about these type of stuff. You know, Gemini is also connected to our habits, daily habits. So how our habits are going to be changing? I feel like people are gonna become somehow more disconnected, but on the other hand, they are going to get more connected as well. I look at Saturn as the planet of trials. So with Neptune, which is the background. So most likely there is already something going on in the background, some type of trials, because Saturn and Neptune are in the sign of Pisces. They are not within orb, but they have been in the sign of Pisces together. So something is already being tested here. And they are going to get launched. You know, it's media, 
another Gemini related territory, right? Because that's also a form of communication. So television should be changing, I, I would say. Or let's see how much freedom the media is going to be having. Because I know in many countries, government is actually controlling TVs, the media overall. The problem usually with Uranus, that Uranus is a little bit too modern for many people. And that's why we tend to be disapproving of these new things. And that's why often it brings, Uranus brings riots and, you know, demonstrations and all these type of stuff, because we cannot just see how that would be serving our own needs. I really hope, let's be very optimistic that astrology will be available for kids in a way. Yeah, cashless world, unconventional learning methods. You know, maybe we will see more and more people choosing not to go to schools because we do not need schools to have a job type of mentality, which might be coming around. Um, I would say that most likely because Gemini is very much connected to business transactions, Uranus is about entrepreneurship. So we should see more and more entrepreneurs as well. Therefore, I tend to believe that the bigger companies are going to be somehow dying. And let's hope that with this Gemini, the local small businesses are going to be thriving a little bit more in a way. Now, I also looked at a couple of other things because, of course, we're looking at this Uranus, Pluto, Neptune energy. So it was worth having a look at when Uranus and Neptune met. And they had their conjunction in 1993, uh, 1993 in the sign of Capricorn. And then now they are going to be forming a sextile. So what we saw in 1993, you know, for example, we saw the creation of the European single market. We started seeing countries guaranteeing free movement of people, products, services, and so forth. Neptune plus Chiron rule over refugees. So Uranus in the sign of Gemini could talk to us about massive movements of people as well. I mean, I was thinking about this also, that very interesting that there are a number of refugees, of course, all over the world, but they somehow end up always in underdeveloped countries or not necessarily underdeveloped countries, sorry, that's not the right word, but more to do with somehow low wages countries where the income is quite low. And uh, of course, you know, I'm just wondering with Aquarius, that's not really fair. Anyway, the other thing I was thinking that smoking will be changing. Why? Because Gemini is something to do with lungs. Uranus will be there. Then we've got Pluto trying to it. Pluto is the planet of toxins, so it can be connected to smoking. So I can imagine that smoking will be changing. Maybe governments are going to be restricting smoking. Or maybe there's just going to be a healthier version of it. Let's see. But Saturn could talk to us about inhibitions and, and restrictions. So maybe the cigarette is going to cost so much that people choose to give up on their bad habits. Remember that we're going to have the nodes in the sign of German, um, Virgo and 
Pisces. And that's also the axis of habits. Maybe it's going to be something to do with alcohol legislations. Maybe the law around alcohol is going to be completely changing. The other thing which came to my mind that obviously, and this is going to be the last one for today, the air signs are so much connected to air, but also wind. So some type of wind related technology might start blooming. Either way, Uranus, Pluto, Pluto is surely a financial planet because that's the planet of wealth. Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. So it could connect to finances also. Gemini is business and transactions. So the reason why I wanted to make this video, and hopefully this is going to be helping to people, to keep an open mind what type of businesses we should be going towards to, to have an open mind, because these are investment opportunities for plenty. Some of these are going to be surely, I'm 100% sure, in our lives, and therefore, if we do that at the right time, somehow doing it at the beginning, most likely sometimes next year, then this could give financial abundance to plenty of people. So use this video for your own benefits. I hope it helps. Thank you, everyone, and see you again soon. Bye-bye.